Just like that, it is the news. That's it. Thank you for watching, guys. <clears throat> yeah, no doubt. Uh, before we get to the news, as always, it's the weather. All right. Good morning, folks, and welcome to the show. Welcome to Look the show. Look at that. What's going on? 84 in South Carolina. Very nice. What's up, Baba? What's up? What's up, Dave? Uh, it's going to be stormy and tolerable. 97 here in Vegas. Glad uh, I didn't get my truck washed. Yeah, mm. I always like. I don't even bother to wash my car in the summer. It's almost pointless. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, dude, it rains every day. Yeah. Uh, uh, checking in Massachusetts, 68 with a high of 82. That sounds uh, lovely. Uh, tolerable 97. 97. Yeah. I know it sounds intolerable until you're there, in which case then you go, Oh, that's not so bad. Um, 67 in Vermont, Very it's, good. Like, it's like winter is starting. What's yeah, that, what's that? Fall, fall is coming. Mm. What's well, August? So, yeah, I guess fall is on the way. I don't know. We don't have weather like that, we don't have seasons. We have, <laughs> we have, we have hot, like, hot, yeah, we have like fall and summer. And that's it. And we never and like actually, two weeks off. Uh, and there's like a week of spring where our flowers just go, huh, we're back. If we left at all. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, right. That intro music. I don't know what it is. Oh, is it paralyzing? Must be paralyzing. Uh, um, what's up from saludos. Pueblo, Mexico? That's right. I love I always love it when some God, we have our new there, CNC though. machine delivery. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Slow down. Yeah, yeah, I doubt it. They're going to be banging on the door. Yeah. No, I mean, Excuse me, sir. Yeah, it might be. With it, you know, geez, not for us, but anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Let me make this a little bit more intimate. Okay. okay. Well, you know, we had it wide for Seth when he was here. Hopefully, you guys That's got right. to catch the, yeah, air brakes. Hopefully, you guys got to catch the Seth show that happened on Wednesday. We got to learn about the state of Kenwood and JVC uh, as far as when new products are coming out. Yes. Uh, products that are available. Um, of course, we took a look at the DMX 7909S and conveniently enough, they left us with one so we can shoot an unboxing here in the next week or two. That is correct. I can't wait because I haven't done a radio unboxing in a very long time. Yeah. So also, JVC nice. came out with new products too, so you guys yes. can check it out. Yep. Uh, I mean, the JBC, JBC mirror for that one, sister, brother, whatever you want to call it. They left us with that, too, so yeah. we have to do both. So that's pretty yeah. awesome. Um, 80 and cloudy in Montgomery. Well, let me tell you, here <coughs> in Clearwater, Florida, that's going to be on the 80s. It's going to be a 40% raining today. Yeah, uh, that, that, from <laughs> 40% six... raining? Yes. We call that a 40% chance of rain. A chance, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from six to six, yeah, like p.m. Yeah. Oh, so who cares? We're not going to get it while we're here. So yeah, yeah. So it's no, supposed no, no, to it's rain. Fine. Tonight. It's just going to suck for you because you're running. No, not Fridays. Fridays family night. Okay. So. Yeah. No, we're Friday. Fridays. I just made night. that up, so I just want to make you feel bad. What did you do? The weather? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you made up the weather? Oh, yeah. Okay. No. Thanks. Uh huh. This guy. I know. Um. I know. I'm so bad. Uh. Yes. Here we go, 80 in Montgomery. You're good. That was a great was show. A show. That was a great show. It was I, a great I mean, show. He, yes, did, a, he sure. did a wonderful job. We don't have to do anything with Seth. We just stand back and I love it when we have guests on that we can just stand back and enjoy what it is they're trying to tell everyone. For sure. And we don't really have to get too involved because mm -hmm. um, then we get to have a good time too. Yeah. I know. But enough of that. Let's get on with the news. There was some news this week, not much, some. but I, I will say this. Uh, See, Alex scoured the interweb, found the news that she thought was relevant, and then we took the news that we thought was relevant. All the stories that we report on, we 
borrow, steal, accumulate, whatever. From CE Outlook in the description for the show, there is links to the article. So if there, you would like to learn more about them or or see if our you know our view of them is a little skewed, which it probably is, then by all means you could read the information yourself. Yeah. Uh, and plus, there is usually more industry stuff over there that we don't report on because we're you know why. It's industry. It's industry. Oh, yeah, they, but anyways, uh, thank you, CE Outlook, for providing us with the source in which to grab our news. All right. Now on with the show. First up is not, not that, that button. One. It's this button. One of these days, I'll yep. figure out how to work this one thing. One day. One day. NPD top subwoofers quarter two. Now, <clears throat> I want to report on this. Good morning, Sue. Wow. Sue's up. Um, I want to report on this. Uh a little bit of, of of what this means. A lot of people mm-hmm. see these competitions. I was gonna say, go full screen. Yeah. See these competitions like this, and they go, "Bro, that's baloney. How come this woofer's not in? How come that woofer's not in? How come this company?" And, and the and the reality is, is if you're not reporting to this company, such as MPD, yep. then your information will not appear in their polls. Correct. So they might not be asking the right people. That's that's basically what it means. But I will say this: looking at the champions per se of this information, so top subwoofers quarter two 2022 in dollars. Kicker, uh, that is the preloaded uh, 212 yep. comp R box. Uh, JL Audio kicker. JL Audio kicker. <laughs> uh, it looks like the same for the 2021 second quarter. No, no, it's 2021 second quarter when kicker JL Audio Kenwood. I mean, Kenwood, there you go. Because Kenwood had come out with that new box. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure for some reason people hot. have that forgotten time. about yeah. it. But, I mean, other than the one random Kenwood in here, I mean, yes. we're, we're basically quarter one. We're looking at kicker, kicker, JL, kicker, 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 JL. So, there again. This is the people that report, you know, the subwoofers. Yeah. And like you said, it might be... You know, another subwoofer that actually is like killing it right now. But if they don't report it, nobody knows. Yeah. So, yes, they'll know. They'll know. They, they're not going to know. They'll know. No, they're not going to know. know. No, they'll know. Anyways, um, so there you go. Uh, so if you if you didn't see your favorite subwoofer up there, first off, let's remember, we're talking about Kicker and JL Audio here. Chances are good they do sell a little bit more than all those other companies. I just want to see what but, you guys think is the the more selling subwoofer for 2022. Okay. You know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I it's gonna be kicker. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's apparent. They've they've won the top two so far, so yeah. we're, we're pretty sure it's gonna be kicker. If Bobby's not here. That will be like, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Um, uh, moving on. Yes. More on MEA's 12 volt career day. Uh, this is this is an interesting one, and I was talking to the MEA yesterday, as a mm-hmm. matter of fact, because we had to call them. We'll be doing some stuff while we're out there for them. And this is Knowledge Fest, of course, in Dallas, coming up 26th through the 28th. We'll be out there. I thought we were out there the 24th. Are we out there the 24th? No. So we 25th? Get, we, got, we got there the 25th. Thursday. So Thursday we'll be there early Mm -hmm. uh, because we'll be at Jay's tent with Oscar hanging out for a while. And and maybe Jeff Smith, maybe Jeff Smith. I mean, he'd be the draw, not us. But I mean, yeah. Um, Anyways. Yeah. uh, So this is interesting. So our our friend Todd Ramsey, Mm -hmm. who works with SEMA and CDF. Uh, reached out to Knowledge Fest, and there's a couple vocational schools in the area, and they have invited some of the students out to Sunday when the show floor is open so that they can have access to it. So they're going to be students. They're going to have special student passes, yes. and they'll be able to walk around, talk to, and supposedly dealers in the area can have booths set up uh, so that you know they can go and talk to to them to the to the new kids yeah Yeah. (laughs) that's funny um i got it you you got it oh yeah i already put it in the backpack oh very good because i forgot about it anyways um so this is a cool idea i you know this is kind of like what scott and um uh uh, todd no scott and uh from kicker um aaron 
okay. did with their little teaching class there. It was much deeper, but this is, of course, just expanding upon right. the idea of introducing people to the 12 volt industry that may not, of course, know anything about it. So yeah. it, it could be interesting. It'd be good. Uh, you know, Sunday we'll have to mill around and see if we can find any of these students. One of the little things they actually, you know, that was cool is the goal is to attract 50 candidates, yeah. right? Uh, maybe in the future more. It's going to be Sunday, August 28th from 11.30 to 2 p.m. for the rest of the show. Yeah, keep in much. mind, these are, these are invite only. This is very specific. Yes. It's not like you can like show up and say, oh, I'm with a technical school. I'm here. No, they no. have to pre-register. They get badges Correct. and all that yes. other fun stuff. But yeah. it ought to be interesting, needless to say. Mm -hmm. And with that, that takes us to new product news. Ooh. Um, so Focal has come out with the version two mm -hmm. of this uh, amplifier that they make. Um, it is geared around Harley Davidson, which just means it's a small footprint amplifier that has been conformal coded. Uh, hold on, let me get you, let me get the relevant information here, such as I don't know. Ah, it is the it's, it says it right there. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that was a mono yeah, FDP hey. Sport version two. Now, some specs on this that are very impressive. First off, let's talk about the size because I think that's important. So we're talking it's one and five eighths tall. It's eight and a quarter inches wide. So it's about the size of a sheet of paper and it's five inches uh, long. So we're, we're looking about it. Yeah, if you fold a piece of paper in half, that's about the size of this amplifier. And it's putting out four by 50 watts at four ohms. And at the two ohm rating, we're getting four by 200 watts. Uh, okay. And then you can bridge it to 400 watts on the corresponding channels. So it can be two by 400 or one by 400, Very good. And two by 150 and whatnot. It, it's, but there again, the reason why I bring this up is because we all know we have to have at least one motorcycle video up here at during, but uh, compact size and a lot of power, which yeah. to me is uh, something we talked about last night. I feel like these more efficient amplifiers are becoming mm -hmm. more and more popular. And even though they're making these for power sports, I feel in the end, it's gonna be the workaround that thank God you made these for power sports because we're gonna need them for cars yeah. that have these you know, very picky electrical systems. Well, now Focal makes the K2 series for the Harley motorcycles. Yeah. So, you gotta know, have an amp to power. You gotta have an amp to power. And that's you know. why they give the two ohm rating on this is because like K2s, K2s are typically are two, ohm. two ohms. Yeah. So very good. Know. No, very I mean, good. hey, I, you know, it's cool. No, don't get me wrong. It's Focal. So that's it's, gonna it's, make you buy a motorcycle, get you license, you know, ride, hell man. Get 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 my motor running. Uh, Not a chance in hell, dude. I don't even put a, a, a stereo in the car that I drive, oh and God. I have a convertible, so I can do all that anyways. You're so boring. you know, I can feel the cool breeze blowing in my hair. You know, yeah, so, this is the version Aaron, two. Aaron, Aaron is gonna be so excited about this. This is, this is the version two. Yes. So motorcycle. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Uh, motorcycles and ATV power sport audio is blowing up and telling you. Uh, I'm. I'm yes, we, yes, we know it's blowing we, up. Yes, I mean, everybody. Everybody and their uncle it. is doing a is doing a crappy job on it. So it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's it's all right. You I, have to get that piece of the cake. You know, we we live in a in a part of town where it's just not something we see <laughs> it's okay you know florida's kind of flat and we live in the city what hair says you <laughs> <laughs> uh anyways moving on in new product news this is something that a lot of you are going to be happy about oh my gosh yeah. so this is the ap4 ch 40, I'm sorry, no, this is the APH CH42, mm -hmm. which is made to integrate with the AP4 CH41 version 2, sold separately. Uh, for those of you that have the new RAMs and you've been reluctant to do a stereo or, or do a amp upgrade because you're like, hey man, the Amp Pro won't plug into my car and I really don't want to cut my harness. Well, mm -hmm. guess what? Your prayers have been answered. They finally released it. It's the new CH42. This is designed to integrate with, like I said, the CH41, um, so that you can do Amp Pro. Uh -huh. the tech the, so all, all Chrysler did was change the harness. Uh, it wasn't like you yeah. needed a software update or anything like that. Um, you just, you know, it's it's just we were waiting on this harness, which yeah. is funny because the harness kind of looks like a the new Ford harness, but obviously it's not. But it seems like everyone's going to 
like that square harness. Um, you know, pants, GM has done I it guess. in the past, but like perfect square harnesses. Yeah. Ford uses a perfect square harness. Now Chrysler uses a perfect square harness. That means, of course, GM is going to have to go to something totally different because that's just how they like to do that. But they say, you know, be there or be square. They, they say that? No, they don't say that. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. I mean, you know, hey, what, whatever works for you. Um, but yeah. All right. Uh, so, all right, let's go back to here. So this is this this is a this is another one of those stories that, um, yeah, you know, I just don't know how I fall on this, but we'll we'll talk about it anyways for a minute because yeah. this has to do with money. Yes, and how much money Alpine Alps Alpine, um, and it's not like oops, it's Alps. <clears throat> In case you haven't, which, which I'm, I'm sure most of you don't know. The parent company for Alpine was called Alps Electronics. Alps Electronics makes all kinds of things that have nothing to do with car audio. Mm -hmm. Alps and Alpine have recently pulled the walls down and merged the two together. So it's now Alps Alpine. Um, and it's one company, so now your paychecks don't have the little five things. It's, it's, it's Alps Alpine, I'm assuming. Want... I don't know. I don't get paid by them. Or it has that new logo right there that says Alps that. Alpine. Uh, perfecting the art of electronics. Um, so this, that's not the story. That's just more of a, if you see this Alps Alpine things, that is actually Alpine. You know, Alpine. Um, so, and of course, JVC Kenwood. I find it funny that these two companies. So Alps and Kenwood have reported results for quarters of Japan, Japan's fiscal year ending in June 30th. Now, this is one of those things where people think these companies are really, really big. Uh -huh. Okay. Like a lot of people. And I mean, they big. They're not big because this is Alpine as a whole. This has nothing to do with like just the car audio side. This is everything they do. Okay. okay? So everything they do, uh, 758 million. Uh -huh. So everything that Alpine does for OEM, for aftermarket, for keyboards for your laptops for all that nonsense we're, we're basically looking at 758 million dollars don't get me wrong not bad until you operating loss uh <laughs> so but higher cost of parts led to widening of the sector's net operating loss to they lost 44 million compared to a year ago of 27 million. So these are those things when like my non-degree in business kind of falls flat because when a company says that they make 758 million, but they've still lost 44 million, mm -hmm. it, I, I feel a lot of that always falls into the fuzzy math category of like we were projected to make this, we didn't make this, so then it's considered a loss as opposed to a win. You know what I mean? Because I know a lot of guys do that when say our sales are, are flat or our sales are down. And mm -hmm. you're like, what are your sales down from? I saw our projection of, of this. And it's like, OK. Or if they go, we made more money last year. and we, we We're making less money this year. So we've lost money. And it's like, no, no, you've just made this amount of money. <laughs> well, you always, you know, if I, you made this amount of money this year, you want to make more money next year. It's always been like that. Yeah, it, it just gets, it's, you know, and, and Hi, here Lewis. again, this is, you know, I, they made 1.5 billion. Yeah. Uh, up from 1.3 billion. So I, I, this is why one of those stories is just you look at and go, this just gives me a headache. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my God. Uh, JVC Kenwood sales rose to five point. 537 million mm -hmm. um, up from 481 million from last year uh, reports a loss of 1.8 million for the quarter compared to profits of 11 million a year ago. So even though their profits are up, they're, they're rep, they're, you know, they're, I'm sorry, even though the amount of money they made is up, their profits are down. Um, and that there again is equated to parts cost and, and not being able yeah. to get things and traveling and, and all this other fun stuff and, you know, having to pay for air freight for goods. And, but anyways, the, the long and short of that is, is that when you look at these companies and you think like, oh man, these, you know, they're, they're big and you go, well, 300 million really isn't that big. 1.5 billion is nice. I but, mean, 1.5 billion, you know, I mean. 5 million isn't, isn't any 500 million. I'm sorry. Isn't this. All right. So, my, my point is, is that 
these aren't really big companies. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I just still, you know, like when you lose 44 million, it's like, there again, it's a lot. Of you're money. right. Total operating cost was his, yeah. his total revenue minus total overhead. And, and, and there again, I, you know, we've seen enough of these companies to, and, and said things and it's like, yeah, yeah, sure. It could be as simple as that, but we know it's not. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. we know it's not. We know that, you know, the, all, these, these companies always want to show a loss. They never want to show like when they show profit, they lose it. Man. Well, I mean, they, they, they show it in 2021. Right. Well, they said they showed a profit or but there again, if we go back and look at 2021 numbers, it's probably the same doom and gloom, you know, because they don't want to show a profit. They got to pay taxes on that crap. No one wants to make a profit. Yeah. You want everything to be an expense. <sighs> we didn't make any it's a write off. Yeah, it's a write off. <laughs> What's a write off? Who write it? Who's writing it off? <laughs> um, them. Uh, so anyways, did you, did you get anything else? I know it's kind mm-hmm. of odd, but there, this um, was a really short. That's news it. Week this yeah, week. the only thing it's just we talk about power sports and jeeps and all that stuff. So, uh, if you are in Colorado, you know you can go to the Overland Expo Mountain West twenty twenty two. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, get, they're gonna your, be there. Get your head on. You know, yeah, Core is going to be there, show you everything they have. So, you know, go have fun. I know who won't be there with them. I uh, know it's not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that more later. It's an inside joke. Yeah, it is an inside joke that we can't talk about yet. It's yeah, but that's it, guys. Um, 22 minutes. I know I tried to stretch it as much as I can. They just didn't give us enough weather to talk about. So yeah, uh, a little bit of just filling in for what we got going on the rest of this month. Mm -hmm. Uh, Next week, we have Nick Wingate in on Monday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, we have Brian Schmidt on to talk about Mobile Tech Expo 2023. Make sure to tune into that if you're planning on going. And even if you're not planning on going or if you're on the fence of whether you should go, because unlike last year, we waited way too long to tell everyone what was going on this year. Uh, we've begged and pleaded for him to give us as much information up front as possible so that people can make the decisions on whether or not they want to make the investment in their future. Yeah. Uh, we'll also not be talking about it quite yet, but we will be doing the Clean Wire Club competition there, uh, which is, as of right now, going to have eight entries, which is eight free tickets into the event. Mm-hmm. That means all you have to pay for is plane fare and... Uh, hotel lodging, which is a savings of almost eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, depending on what it's going to fall on. Um, yeah, <laughs> we talked about that. That was your boss. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyways, uh, so it ought to be guy. interesting. He's gonna, like I said, he's gonna start spilling the beans on Wednesday, which ought to be real exciting. So any of you guys, now if any of you guys, and there again, the one thing to remember about Master Tech Expo is unlike the fest which is for knowledge yeah uh master tech expo is open to anyone that is that wants to come to yeah. uh, so if you've got it in your budget to come you can come we talked to a couple people last year that just were like hey man i, I want to come i want to get my learn on i want to have some fun i want to hang out with everybody and they did they and bought the tickets yeah playing everything and yeah yeah it was, it was, it was pretty cool you know they so, got a couple t-shirts and they got uh, their head swole and so. you were able to hang out with the coolest people in the industry, like Josh, you know? So, yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and go to eat at a speakeasy. Oh, you guys you guys love that, right? No. Uh, also, in the, back to the Fest that is Knowledge or Knowledge Fest, as I said, that is going to be the week after. We leave here Thursday morning. We get out to Dallas. Uh, we'll be hanging out at Jay's tent for a little bit with mm-hmm. Oscar and the boys, Jay. And uh, then we'll head over to the, the event where we'll be doing a bunch of live streaming. We're going to try something a little bit different this time. Um, most of the time we say we're going to do some streaming and we typically we do, do one or two. Uh, this time I just kind of don't care. We're going to be just just hammering the, the Facebook and the Instagram. YouTubes and the Instagrams and just probably not Facebook. But uh, we'll be going everywhere we can, talking, bumping into people and having a good time. We don't have a, uh, we don't have a lot on the books as far as... Uh, responsibility. Fernando has a Spanish class. He'll be teaching on audio controls, high level to low level converters, the three above my shoulder on Sunday. Of course, Friday morning at nine o'clock, 
Mm -hmm. 9.15, I think, is after Chris does the State of the Union address. We will be teaching our class, Snapshots to Great Shots, uh, where you're going to learn how to use your phone or some other camera. You're going to learn basic principles of how to take a picture. It is a very fun class. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we give away a car at the end. This a year, car, a this, brand new car. This year, uh, whoever takes the best picture of the car wins the car. This year, it will be, or this event will be a Camaro, um, which is pretty cool. We've given away a Mustang and we've given away a Corvette. That's crazy, you know. Yep, and they've all been orange for some strange reason. We have one. so much money to give away. Wow. No, we don't. No, oh, that would just it's twenty-four give away bucks, the car. man. We're on good. Uh, so make sure to do that. Also, our friend Brian. Brian Mitchell will be out there teaching a class on Saturday. Yes, I'm excited. And there'll be a that. ton of other classes to have. So if you're in the Dallas area and you're a professional, make sure you sign up to go to Knowledge Fest. Uh, and if you'd just like to swing by and see us in the bar on Friday, Saturday night, you can do that as well because we'll be there. We'll be we're, there. We're going to be at the Amani. Amani, Amani, Amani. Yeah, that's right. Um, All right. <laughs> I got to hang with this cool guy. This is the cool Fernando. guy right here. That is right. Uh, we'll miss you, Mary Lou. We'll miss That's, you. That's right. the joy of working at Metro. She's you don't not going. You the Dallas thing because you live here in Florida. And they don't send you. You're not you gotta going. Get, you got to get higher on the food chain, man. You got to get higher on the food chain. Uh, all right, guys. That's it for this Friday's edition of the news. That's got you guys all up to date. Uh, thank you so much for spending your Friday morning with us. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, which is Saturday at 6 o'clock to the Q&A show that yep. we do Saturdays. That's right. This Saturday is going to be straight Q&A. We're going to machine gun the hell out of as many questions as we can. We just saw you like two weeks ago. Um, so definitely tune into that as always. And if you, know, if, if you want questions answered or if you just yeah. want to hear the cool questions that everyone asks. Uh, and like I said, Monday, Nick Wingate, don't forget, he'll be here. We're going to talk about Talking amplifiers. About amplifiers, that is correct. Yes, this amplifiers. Is, this is like a love song right here. It's so close, yet so far. It's a, it's a song? I don't it's know. It could be. All right, guys. Thank you, and have a wonderful Friday. Bye, guys. Bye.